in our previous session we have understood what are setters and what are getters now in this we are going to see how to define property and also how to use setter and getter inside that before that let's understand what is object dot define property method i will be writing one comment here let me come here i will write one comment object dot define property we are going to learn about this method before that let me just create one object let student is equal to id i will give as one student i think it is already defined let me come here i will comment this out id 1 and name is equal to khanam now here i am just going to print that one student i will save this now you can see here is my result let me just clear this one now this is my object inside this i am having id and also i am having name now suppose if i want to add one more property inside this i can just write like this student we have already seen how to add the properties student i am adding hobbies property inside this i am just going to write here dancing I will save this. Now I will just open this. Now inside this you can see I am having hobbies, I am having ID and also I am having name. All the three properties are added inside this. Now what happens whenever we are creating object, the values inside the properties are writable which means I can edit the values and also I can view all the keys. You can see this is the key and this is the value. I can view all the keys and also I can delete the properties. So basically, there are three words for this one. First is writable. Values, properties are writable. Properties are configurable. I can delete the properties. And they are enumerable, which means I can display all the keys. Now first writable, let me just check. I will be writing student student dot hobbies and inside this i will be changing it to singing i will save this i will open now you can see hobbies is displayed and inside this singing is also available let me just copy this and here i'm just going to paste at the end i will save this you can see inside this i'm having id i'm having name and also I am having this hobbies and the hobbies value is changed that is singing. So we can change the values and also we can delete it. Now here if I just write here delete and I will be writing student dot hobbies. I will save this. Now when I just open you can see only id and name is there. I have deleted this hobbies property. And whatever value is assigned to these hobbies, that is also deleted. So we can change the values. We can delete the properties. And whenever we are deleting property, not only the property, the value which is assigned to this property will also be deleted. So we can change the value. We can do configuration. That is, we can delete the properties. And also enumerable. So let me just write here for loop. I will create one variable in this student object now i just want to display all the keys whatever keys are available inside this i will just write here console console.log and inside this i just want to display the key i will save this you can see id is key and name is key whatever keys are present that is displayed now let me just comment this one now you can see hobbies is also displayed because I have not deleted, I have added here hobbies. I have removed this one. So hobbies is also there. So totally I am having three keys. I can display all the keys. The key which is added later, that also I can display. Okay, this is the basic thing. Whenever we are creating object, we can change the values. We can delete the properties and values. And also we can display all the keys. This is regarding the basic object. Now suppose you are very much interested in dancing. 
and you have taken admission in Bansing. Now what happens in database, something happened and it got changed to singing. You would never want to change the hobby at that time, okay? It's not possible. Instead of dancing, you cannot go for singing class. So this is where we use object.define property where we cannot change the values. Okay, I will be showing you the difference. So this is our basic object. Let me comment it out. I will copy the same thing, same object. And here I will be pasting. And I'm just going to uncomment this entire thing. Now using this define object, we are going to do the things. I will be writing object dot define property method. Okay, this is the method. And this will be taking three parameters. First is our object on which object I have to add the property. Then what property I have to add? I just want to add hobbies. Now finally, I just have to write the description. What modification I want to do? What value I want to add inside this? I just have to add it here. So here I will be writing value. Value and inside this let me just write here dancing. You like dancing. So I have just given here dancing. I will save this. Now nothing is displayed. Now I will just display the student object. I will save this. Now you can see inside this I have added one hobbies property as well. I am having ID. I am having name. But if you notice here hobbies, it is little bit grayed out. Which means we cannot change the value now. Now suppose here I am just trying to change the value student dot hobbies. Inside this instead of singing, instead of dancing, I am just giving here singing. I will save this. Again, you can see the value what was present that is still there. That is dancing. I cannot change the value. Okay, this defined property will be very useful when you want to display the marks. The marks should not be changed by anyone. It, it is useful in user IDs, in ID, employee ID because that is unique to each and everyone. It is used in Aadhaar card, PAN card numbers. Because those are unique identities of individual person. Nobody can change that one. So we can just use this define property. You can see even after changing this, the value is still dancing. Now I cannot display this as well. All the keys I cannot display. Let me come here. I'm just going to copy the code. And inside this, I'm just going to paste it here. I will save this. Now you can see only ID and only name is displayed. This hobbies I have added later. So that will not be displayed. Whatever I was having in my original object, only that will be displayed. So this is also very useful. If you want to hide some data, then you can use this one. Then also we cannot delete this one. I cannot just write here delete. If important data, if Aadhaar card data, PAN card data is deleted, then it will be very difficult to identify individual person. So we cannot delete as well. Student.hobbies. I will save this. Now you can see hobbies is still present. It will not be deleted. But it is little bit grayed out. Now if I just display student here, I will save this. You can see again I am having hobbies. This data will not be deleted. This will still be present inside the object because whenever we are using this object dot define property, the properties inside that which is added, we cannot write. That is, we cannot edit the values, we cannot delete the values, and also we cannot display all the keys inside that. So, this is the basic difference. But for normal object, basic object, we can do all those things. It is writable, it is configurable and also it is enumerable. But here it is not writable, not configurable and not enumerable. So now suppose if I just want to make that as writable, enumerable and configurable, we will be adding this keys. I will just write here writable. By default the value will be false. I am just going to make as true. Now you can see I have changed to dance singing here. 
I will save this. Now the value will be changed to singing. And also if I open, the value will be changed to singing. But still, here when I am displaying key, this hobby is not displayed here. So I should just write here enumerable. Enumerable will be true. I will save this. Now you can see hobbies is also displayed. And when I open this one, you can see now this hobbies is not grayed out. How this name and ID is displayed? The same way hobbies is displayed because writable is true. I can change the value now. Enumerable I have given. The hobbies is displayed. And finally, configurable. Configurable if I just write here true. Now I have given here delete. As soon as I save this one, this hobbies will be deleted from here. You can see. First I have just displayed this key. So till here I am having this hobbies. Of, so here I am having this hobbies. After that I have deleted. Now when I display this student. Only ID and this name is displayed. Again if I just copy. And if I paste here. You can see only ID and name will be displayed. But before deleting if I just display this one. I will be getting ID, name and hobbies. And also before deleting, if I display this object, I will be getting this hobbies is equal to singing. Okay, this is the basic difference between the basic object and the object properties which are defined using this object.define property method. And this will be very useful whenever you don't want to change the important data, whenever you don't want to delete the important data. So this is how we use this object.define property. Now in this we can use setters and getters as well. Setters and getters we have understood in our previous session. That is using getters we can access the properties values and using setters we can modify that value. So now let me just comment this entire thing. And also I am just going to I will copy this one comment it out and here I will be coming. Okay this is my object. Now what happens, I will just copy the same thing and inside this I am just going to paste. Here let me just remove this entire thing. Now I am just going to add this hobbies properties. Now I will be using get, get function and inside this what I just want to return, I just want to return the value. Return, I will be writing here value. Now my value is nothing but value here let me just define the value let value is equal to dancing okay starting i'm just going to give dancing because i am interested in dancing i will just write here dancing log and inside this student object i will save now when i open this you can see hobbies is displayed but when you see here the value is not displayed we are having only these three dots now you can see whenever I hover on this, I am getting invoke property getter. The value will not be displayed when we see in console. We will be having these three dots. So we have to invoke this property getter. So just click on this and the value will be displayed. That is dancing. So most of the time people will not be aware why we are getting that three dots and they will not click on that. So that the value will not be displayed. So just click on that to get the value. Okay, using this getter, we can access the value and I have got this value that is dancing. Now I can update this value as well. Okay, if you want, you can use arrow functions as well. But as of now, in this series, till now we have not learned what is arrow function. So I'm not going to use arrow function, but I can definitely show how to use this arrow function. So whenever we are using this arrow function, you don't have to write this function keyword. And also you don't have to write this return. You can directly come here. We are just going to write this value. And also I am just going to re remove this one. Separated by comma. Okay, this will be the arrow function. Whenever we are having only single line statement, we don't we don't have to use return keyword and also we don't have to use function keyword directly we can return the value i will save i will be getting the same result you can see dancing now i just want to set this one okay i just want to update it to new value 
I will okay before that let me show you I will come here student dot hobbies is equal to singing I will save this I will open now when I click you can see the value is not changed so what we are going to do we are going to set that one again I will be using normal function and this will be going to return a new value the value which is assigned here it is just going to return that one so here return value is equal to new value i will save this you can see now we should just not give like this we just have to give like this value is equal to new value now when i click on this you can see the value is changed to singing whenever we use this setter we are just giving we can update the values but when we are using this getter we can access the property values so this is how setters and getters are useful this is the normal function we have used if you want you can use the fat arrow function as well okay the same thing we have to remove this function keyword remove this remove this and also we don't have to give this one instead of this we just have to write like this and we should not be writing semicolon comma from here i am just going to remove one comma i will save this again we will be getting the same result that is singing using getter we can access the property values and using setter we can modify that okay this is how setters and getters are useful if you have got confused with the setters and getters you can refer the previous video to get more clarity on what are setters and what are getters okay this is all about object dot define property method and this method is very very useful and this you will be using more in your projects when you are doing complex projects then this method will be useful setters and getters are also useful everything whatever you have learned in this section will be useful in your projects so next we are going to understand more about this we will be going through one practice set so that you will be having much more clarity on this object dot defined property as well as setters and getters